It's the biggest, most gruelling renovation challenge ever seen on Australian TV. Two teams of seasoned veteran renovators up against each other, all vying for the ultimate prize to be the best of the best. But tonight, one couple will be sent home. Teams are just a day out from Revealed, and there's still so much to be done. Over at the Blue Tongue Territory, there's just one big happy family. Day before Reveal, still got a bit to do, but the house is coming together really well. The team's been working really well. Leighton and Aiden have been, everyone's been getting on. The Blue Tongue's brief this week is contemporary with a touch of Art Deco. There's just four members on this team, and these rumblers have their work cut out for them. New Blue Tongue team members Aidan and Jess have everything riding on their living room, laundry and bathroom, which has been built from scratch. They didn't want a toilet coming off the uh, dining room, which when is fair enough. When they have a dinner enough. party, they don't want to hear someone squeezing money out while they're eating their jobs. While Carly and Leighton are planning to dazzle the judges with their dining room and kitchen. There's been a lot of timber grain kitchens lately. You know, so we've stepped away from that gone contemporary and uh, added our own sort of touch on it with a nice marble diamond pattern splashback. But the Blue Tongue's biggest challenge today is against the clock, and it doesn't help that the boys have slept in. So we set our alarm for about an hour and a half time, and I woke up at six in the morning from, and I was like, oh no, we've got this our last day. We haven't painted yet. Oh no, and it was just panic stations, and it was on. Coming up all right? I was sanding. Aiden was coming behind me with a spray gun. The spray was nearly getting me in the back of the head. That's how close it was. <laughs> I was like, whoa, hurry up, boy. Basically, <laughs> spray everything this morning. It won't take long. We've prepped everything. Everything's ready to go. So, uh, in say a couple of hours, all the painting will be done. And then tonight, it's just touching up with the glosses and bits and pieces. We'll be all right for room reveal. No drama for that. We'll push on and uh, just be a bit of a frantic day. When is it ever not a frantic day? I'm a little concerned that we're going to get drips because you're in such a hurry. No, no. No, there's it's no really drip. good paint. No. Fabs will rock up soon. It'll be like everyone oh, getting the hell out. Oh, God. Fabian's going to kill you. Enjoy the calmness now because it's going to get mental. And speaking of Fabian, the fiery blue tongue Tyler, who's a perfectionist, has just arrived with a long list of demands. No, I reckon we order a taxi. Nah, f that, man. What? Just go and pick it up. It's right around the corner. Fabs is a hothead. You know what I mean, Fabs? You, you got to know how to rub Fabs up the right way. You've got to open that, so you got to fly over here. It's you got to open mate. the back door. It's happening. Oh, we need to heat it up, though, to dry it. Cool air dries everything the quickest. So, did you sand it? Huh? Did you sand it? Yeah. Right? You're killing me, Fabs. Pushing the friendship, mate. You're pushing the friendship. You just got to manage Fabs. Like earlier today or yesterday, he was starting to arc up. I said, Fabs, let's go for a coffee. He goes, oh, really? So we went for a coffee. By the time we come back and can start work, he was none the wiser. <laughs> you know, but I took him for a coffee and it stopped him from uh, arcing up. Over at the Redbacks, their brief is mid century modern. And this week, the Super K's, Carl and Cara, are tackling the bathroom. The bathroom is going okay. I'm just um, painting the ceiling before the before the toilets come back and occupy this space. So I'm in here now trying to get it all done um, so then we don't have to come in here and paint everyone who's just fit off and grow out and cork and it's, it's sorted. Trying to stay ahead of the game. Also wanting to stay ahead of the competition is team captain Josh. He and wife Jenna are working on a dream kitchen. The semi to our challenge isn't as bad as what we thought it would be because we've sort of allocated the kitchen to us because we haven't done one in a couple of weeks. So we're basically just trying to fit in as much cooking appliances as possible, plenty of bench space, plenty of island bench for eating your breakfast and entertaining. And uh, we just wanted to lay that up with a heap of textures and different finishes. The kitchen is part of an open space plan. So Josh is sharing the area with new Redback team members, Ben and Gemma, who have the living room. 
They're going to include a luxe dining table and a Bessa block bench seat. It's big enough for the family to entertain. Bessa blocks are like a commercial style building block. But we're going to be using like a capping that they put on top of them, which we're going to lay as if they're bricks. The risk of doing a Besser block bench seat has been receiving mixed reviews, especially from team captain Josh. Just hold, hold that, hold that off, Josh. I know what I'm doing, mate. You don't know what you're doing, otherwise we'll use all that Besser block. Josh and Jenna have competed in two previous blocks, but they've never won. This time, Josh is determined to do whatever it takes to win, even if it means convincing new team member Ben to build a Besser block bench seat. Let him take the bait and then just like let him toss it up so I think it's his idea. Help him actually physically go pick the stuff up, physically glue it on the wall, wait till the glue sets, tell him he's stuffed up, <laughs> eliminated, Aiden and Jess safe, red backs back together. After we finished building the Bessa Block wall, I uh, basically told him that we'd stitched him up so we could send him home in order to save Aiden and Jess. <laughs> it's all part of his strategy to keep the original red backs in the game and to send as many of the blue tongues packing. And Josh can afford to make this move because he and Jenna have immunity. Do you think that they had a bit of a game plan? The way Josh was speaking yesterday, he was just being a <laughs> It was kind of like, ha, ah, it worked. Like, we got you to do the best of blocks. And I thought, yeah, that's good and funny. Like, but at the end of the day, I was, like, we did a bit of research ourselves, and we were super stoked to do it. So he, I don't know whether or not he thought he was quite the larrikin and had it all over me and that I'd been sucked in, but yeah, he thought it was a great laugh, eh? Ben's pretty happy. It's his second last day on the show. <laughs> he's going to get eliminated tomorrow night. He's got all the best of luck ball that the judge is going to slam. <laughs> You're the <laughs> bloke to work with ever. I want Carly Lane back, eh? This is nearly like we're at high school. Just like little bickering, degrading <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> you good? I'm good, mate. I don't have any best of boxes in my room. What are you going to achieve? Or how I just would never speak to someone like that. Josh is the biggest stirrer. He knows how to push everyone's buttons. You only have to know him for a day and he's worked that out. So he pushes my buttons on a daily basis and now he's pushing Ben's. <laughs> alert. Ding, 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 ding. Is that a common knowledge or is, it, is that just dawned upon me? It's, it's funny because it, it fires Ben up a little bit and he gets a bit... He gets a bit defensive about it. Didn't really bother me, so I just want to get back. It'd just be interesting to see if we could survive to see the roles reverse and make them feel uncomfortable. You know, how they would feel going into a different team. Josh's bid to farewell Ben and Gemma is quickly spreading like wildfire throughout the street. Sad to see you gone. Still here, mate. Hello! Remember that guy? <laughs> what was he thinking? I my head in before and <clears throat> they still look the same, those best of blocks, so it's been the talk of uh, the last 24 hours. Uh, either the judges are going to love it or they're going to hate it. But you know what's going to really blow the judges away? How <laughs> Ben's best of blocks look. <laughs> I want to go and just, like, burn down your <laughs> kitchen, eh? <laughs> ben and Gemma, the judges have never met anyone that's been so far from the brief. <laughs> That's all good and well, but it doesn't really make any sense because then anyone's vulnerable. What happens if the judges actually like it? <laughs> Word even spreads down the road to Ben's old blue tongue buddies, Carly and Leighton. So funny, he's standing there and he's like, yeah, you know, ben, Ben's going home. He's, he's booked his ticket. He's, got, he's going. He's gone. I reckon the judges are going to love him. It's going to be interesting. Mate, what did they do? Yeah, I know. Poor Benny. <laughs> They might work. They might work, you know? They're quirky, there's something different, they're an idea outside the box. Absolutely. So, and that's why you've got to get merit for them. You know, getting out there and giving it a go, whether it works or works, it's, it's either make it or break it. You know, because if that don't work, he could let the red, red team down, and also he could be going home. Coming up. 8.30 you started. I'm supposed to be out of here by 6.30, 7. I know. Just stop. Just no. let it go. The Blue Tongue's hot-headed Tyler threatens the team's chances of finishing. Oh, we'll rip it off if you put it up. Good! And later, the judges can't believe the transformation. Wow. So, who will be sent home? The winner is... It's the last full day the team members have before the end of the 72-hour elimination challenge. This competition is unrelenting and not for the faint of heart. 
But as team members dwindle and exhaustion sets in, mistakes are bound to happen. And at this stage of the competition, this could cost them everything. Over at the Blue Tongue's house, Aiden has discovered a problem. The shower screen that's been custom ordered for their bathroom is 120 mil higher than Fabian's tile line. This is just the kind of oversight the judges will take points off for. At the beginning of the week, we ordered the shower screen at 2.4 and then conveniently forgot about that and the tiles. I was never told the shower screen had been ordered at 2.4. Yeah, 22.80. Why? What's the, what's the problem? Gla glass is 2,400. Yeah, that's all right. Is it? An oversight. When you're doing three rooms in a week, it's an oversight, and that's what's going to happen. That's all right. I'll go over. You've done it before in the other one. Oh, I'm, I'm fitting it. Don't worry. With so much at stake, Aiden's surprised to learn the order came from his builder, Aiden. Aiden. Did you order the shower screen? Shower screen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I spoke to Jess about it. I asked Jess how high she wanted it. She said 2-4. Oh. <laughs> this is what it is. It's higher than the tie line, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, the window is 2400 That was the first time ever on a room reveal where I've gone, holy dooly, I am stressing a little bit. Don't speak with her on like that. <laughs> Too late, mate. <laughs> no, but I'm, she doesn't know the building. You two were running around trying to do your bedroom. Marty and I were trying to figure out what the hell we're going to do in here. I came and asked her what height. She goes, I'd like it a bit higher than normal. I said, what, 2-4? She said, yeah, 2 four's great. Yeah, but she didn't know the window was going to be there. We didn't have a window in there at that point. Once it's painted, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think once the vanity goes in, your eyes will just draw straight to the vanity and you're not even going to look at... Uh, they will know. notice it, they will oh, see it, the judges notice will it. comment on it and that will be the end of it. We know it's going to happen, doesn't matter. It's been nice knowing you, mate. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Bit of sabotage, it's all right. Sabotage? It was your wife? There's a point on. Nothing else, nothing we can do right now. In this game, every point counts. Aiden wants to stay in the comp and he's determined to get things moving to finish the house to perfection. No one, not Jess or even his teammates, can stand in the way of Hurricane Aiden. Day four reveal and everyone seems to just be plodding along. At 3.30, everyone's going to be stressed to the max. Nothing's been done. We've got to clean and get people out of there. Every time you clean, more rubbish comes in. Let's <laughs> go! Aiden pulled up all the protection off the floor. <laughs> that was boring me. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick of it. I was sick of looking at and it. I, I wanted to progress to the next him. level. I think I even pushed you. <laughs> you did. You're quite a physical woman. Stay there. Stay why there. Are we pull, why are we pulling this up? Because I want it up. I'm sick of it. No. No. Why? Why? No, because it'll That's be a nightmare to clean. We're still painting all the skirting That's and everything. That's right. That's right. That's a really stupid idea. That's Wait until the trainers go nope. home. Keep it going. And stop saying no to everything I say. Their bickering was, it had me in stitches. I thought that was hilarious. But I noticed no one else was really laughing, so it's obviously an indication that's the way they are all the time. <laughs> You're doing a really stupid thing right well, that's now. That's what's happening. That's the wrong thing to do. Get it vacuumed, and then people might have a little bit of paint everywhere. Space. You're painting all up here. That's no one great. has respect here. When have you learnt that? Jump the other way. And Aiden came in and said, who's pulled up this plastic? <laughs> I said, who do you think? <laughs> and so then he came in and had a go at you. You're the only one that thinks it's a good idea, Aiden. And I just was I like... I don't really care. We haven't finished. Yeah, we have. I don't know if we have, mate. Everyone else thinks it's dumb apart from you. Don't yep. take any more plastic up. I'll take as much plastic up as I want. Aiden no, wants to fine. roll the walls again. That's not happening. That's not happening. Yes, it is, because they look like It's happening in here. It's not happening in there. Well, we're still going to repaint all the ceiling. Huh? I'm glad I was... when I'm not there that somebody is trying to. We work needed you to out. progress to the next level, and the next level was pulling the plastic up and getting things finished, and we just couldn't get there. So I decided to speed things up by ripping the plastic <laughs> off the floor. I can't believe you're still defending that decision. I'm totally defending it. After all the ribbing from Captain Josh, new member of the Redback team, Ben, 
is starting to doubt himself and his Besser block bench seat. I may have bitten off more than I could chew with the uh, the Besser, the feature render, the timber top. It's going to be an interesting uh, reveal once it all comes together, whether or not it's going to work. Not sure yet. I'll pretty much segue everything into bagging him out about his Besser blocks. Looks good. Enough to go home. Oh! <laughs> This guy, you were on fire, my friend. On fire for a punch in the face. <laughs> I'm getting a divorce, I've decided. <laughs> you are awful. I... I think it goes one there. Like that more so. But if the teasing and doubt about the Besser Block seat wasn't enough to worry about, Ben's also got the shelf gift left behind by the homeowners to put up. And the instructions are all in French. Google a chance. Is this it here? Climb 120 Black? Yeah, there it is. Found it at. That made a bit of space, oh, eh? Yeah. That goes there, dude. Wait, Josh. What, mate? Um, if you look at that photo, this first shelf is at that height there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. Whose room is this in again? Oh, here he goes again. What do you got to say now, mate? <laughs> so what happens there? This must go down like that. Is that how it goes? Worst shelf ever. This is going to take Benny all day. It's meant to go to the left more, the shelf. Put it in on the side. This is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, this one's falling downhill a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Did you run a level line? A laser line? Look at it. How can you get wire shelves wrong? At some point, you just got to just think, oh, I should just give up and leave. <laughs> just stretch them up a bit. These shelves are going to be the end of me, guys. I'm on death row. This is not even funny anymore. It's the last full day the teams have on the Yarraville 72 hour elimination challenge. Over at the Blue Tongue House, things are about to get heated. Fabian Matyla has been working in Jess and Aidan's bathroom all day, which has put him behind in their laundry. Another issue with the laundry was the tiling. Yeah, so the splashback tiles were going to match the stone, mar the marble ones. Marble mosaics from the kitchen we're going to run through in the laundry. But even before he can look at the laundry, there's still Carly and Leighton's kitchen to tile. We're supposed to be at a dinner party tonight. I wasn't supposed to be this long here today. And since the morning, I've been trying to finish a bathroom. Every time I go in, somebody's else working in there. But right now, we're supposed to be grouting, and we can't get in. Why don't you mark them out, and I'll cut them for you? I haven't got time now. I want to go home. It's Saturday. We're supposed to be in a dinner party right now. Because Fabian is running out of time, he's only willing to lay a plain white tile in the laundry, not the more intricate mosaic tile Jess wants to match the kitchen. But Jess isn't in love with that plan. You don't want that in the laundry, Jess? Um, no, I don't. But if there's no other choice, that's the way it has to be. I don't know why it got heated. And then I got called back in there and said, Yeah, because the I came out and said, Fabian, can you really not do this marble splashback? And he said, no, I want to go home. What's, what's he want? Does Jess want the marble diamonds in the laundry splash bag? Jess? Yeah? What tiles do you want in the, in the splash bag? So I've already told you which tiles. They're the same. All right, mate, we're doing the same marble tiles, Fabs. So to save time, Aiden offers to cut them for him. Now. Can I use your grinder? I think Aiden was trying to build, or Aiden was trying to kind of persuade Fabian as well. It all sort of went downhill after that. No, it's all right, I can do it. No, you won't be able to do it. Fabs, it's a difference between winning and losing sometimes, yeah? Come on, man. We'll be better off doing something else, please. No, no, you want these. Aiden? Yes, babe. Stop. It's okay, it's getting tired. No, I don't want I don't want you to do it. It's fine. I'd rather have a good job than a dodgy job in a different tile. Stop Won't it. Don't be dodgy. I'm going to cut them all and... Oh! Oh, we'll rip it off if you put it up. Good. I'm not so I'm cutting it and Babs is going to lay it. I'm in the morning. I'm not f***ing 
Oh, come on, come on. Let's, Aiden, let's not have an argument, just angry. get it. Come on, you've been so nice to me. You haven't been angry yet. Come on, man. If you, if you want these, I'll just come wipe on. them on. Babe, it's not hard. You're not putting them on, Aiden. Why? Jess won't, wouldn't have let me done it, but I totally could have done it. Like, it's not that hard. They're in sheets. What do you think, Jess? Jess has I, uh... no faith in anything. <laughs> oh, that's a nice thing to say. Oh, in my top I've told you I have no faith in your tiling, definitely. I don't know why. But I have faith in many things. I've seen the job you did on your mother's house. I did that when I was 16. <laughs> and you still, every time we go there, you're like, I tiled that. That's right, when I was 16. She doesn't want me to lay them. I'll lay them. She won't let you lay them either. It's now up to the Blue Chung's builder, Aiden, to fix the problem. Man, seriously, my wife just rang me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, oh, no, so, so, so am I, so am I. My wife's at home sick as a dog. I was supposed to be home too. Right, we'll rage, hang on. No, I think he's already gone. He's probably already gone. It's right there. Stay with me. No. Huh? Put your time in the buddy. Yep. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 200. He's, got, he's crazy. He's lost his mind. No, no. Now we'll do that. Done. Yeah, we'll Raj is going to do it. Have you seen what you've asked me to do in there? It's not like a straightforward tiling job. That was your design. Yeah, but still. I, want, I wanted a clear run. I asked you this morning. I wanted to be here at 7. I didn't want anybody in there. But there was, you've been in there all day oh, yeah, by you yourself. You were spraying this morning when I got here. I couldn't start to about lunch time again. You started at 8.30. Doesn't matter, anyway. What happened, 8 happened. 30 you started on the dock. I'm supposed I to be out of here no by 6.37 or latest. I made sure dinner party. no one went in there, Fabs, while you were there. There was a couple of sparkies doing it. Man, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, so don't worry. But it's other people was in there. There was no one in there, mate. I know. Is there people you in there now? You had a clean run, so don't blame if you didn't have a clean run. Stop. Stop. What? Just stop. Just let him go. I haven't been home all day for the last, all day, the whole week, actually. And I've been working till nearly every night, 12.30, 2 o'clock. I haven't even seen the family, I haven't seen the kids. So they're a little bit upset. Why not? Yeah. But you know why I call him angry, don't you? He's very angry. Yeah, he is. But don't say that you didn't what have a clear say? run. He had a clear run. He didn't get stuffed over anyone. That was his design. Yeah, it was. So... <laughs> There's nothing to complain about except himself. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. The way he talks normally is quite heated. You know, the yeah. South American... Yeah. If, you, know, the, you, know, yeah. you hear him on the phone to his wife. It's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. He's a good man. He's a good man. Very good tyler. Yeah. He's a good tyler. That's why he's here. Mate, he's he is a good man. I know he is. Yeah. He's got a bad memory, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Jess may not have got the marble tile she wanted laid in the laundry, but Fabian did stick around to finish the job. Aiden said, don't worry, he'll definitely do it. And then <laughs> when Fabian left, I said, uh, did you check out the splashback tiles in the laundry? He went, yeah, he did it, did he? He went, oh. So it was like a big fizzer, really. Over at the Redback house, Chippy Ben has spent hours trying to put the shelf that was the gift from the homeowners up, and he's still struggling. How does that look? Man, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Do we have a little level just... Johnny, do you have a little level, bro? Mate, you're there, dude. Thank you very much. Three and a half hours later, we have put up four shelves. Yay! He's done it. Looks amazing. Well done, mate. I don't give up, but that's just embarrassing on every level of shelving. Only problem was that it was in French and there was no instructions as to spacings or height or anything. But Josh isn't about to let up on the mind games. Oh, wow, it takes your eye away from those Besser blocks. I think, man, you might have to have sit down and talk about these blocks. <laughs> it's good, man. You're a tool, dude. Like, what, what are you... Oh. If we go home on this room, you know, we've taken a risk and, and we love the space. So, yeah, if we go home, at least we're going home on a room that we're proud of. It's the day of reveal. Tonight, one team will be out of the competition and going home.
Now it's ten minutes to go, and the blue tongues are nearly done. So we're pushing pretty hard. A few doors up, Redbacks are in the same boat. Guys, ten minutes to go. And it's a mad race against the clock. That's good. Are you happy with that art? You know what I like about it? It's got the angles, and then you've got the angled roof. All right, we're done now, babe. Let's help Jess. by a couple of points, so hopefully our final product can trump the blue team. Just hopefully we get we make up those points in the amount of work, structural work, and the way we've redesigned the house, maybe they judge that as well. I'm prepared for whatever, I guess, oh, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. But you're nervous. I'm really nervous, yeah. Another house there. Yeah. 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 beautiful. Oh, no. we Time to rumble, folks. And remember, the lowest scoring couple on the losing team will be eliminated. Let's do this, babe. Hello. Scotty, how are you, mate? Howdy. Welcome back, rumblers, to the end zone. Or in footy terms, the try line. Tonight, five couples will become four. For the others, it's another week of two teams fighting it out to make it into the grand final of Renault Rumble. Each couple is fighting for a prize package of $50,000 for their chosen charity, 50 grand for themselves, and a brand new Mazda CX-5. Now, this week, you again tackle two very different homes with two very different briefs from the homeowners. And I and the mystery judges are just absolutely blown away with what you guys have achieved. Our Renault Rumble judges are designer, writer and stylist Romy Orwell and interior designer Darren Palmer. But tonight, one couple is going home. So let's find out who that is, shall we? Starting with the Redbacks, Josh and Jenna, house captains. Your homeowner's style brief was? Mid-century modern. Slash American. Slash American. Mid-century modern American. Do you know what actually shocked me a little bit? The brief that the Red House did have. Pretty full on. This week, Redbacks wanted to create a massive living dining area for the homeowners, Steph, Earl and their family. We are not keeping that post. We need to get rid of it. Which meant a load-bearing structural post had to go oh, yeah. to open up the area to meet the homeowners' brief. Well, let's start with the hallway, which you did as a team effort. This is lovely. This is really, really nice. Beautiful wall colour. I love it. And this little vignette at the hallway there with the, the gum leaves it ties together nicely, doesn't it? All of the details are perfectly chosen. And the openness of the new archway is made for a much more defined and welcoming space. Well done. Into the kitchen, which was done by team captains Josh and Jenna, who this week had the all-important immunity. Stops. 
hits. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass. Jed and I were very keen to do the kitchen because it had such a precise brief as to what the homeowners wanted. Basically, they just cook every single night. It is truly the heart of their home. Wow. I think we said that in unison. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I really love those tiles. This is a beautiful kitchen. So there's the pantry. Right. Pantry, what's in there? So we've got a set of... Oh, that's oh, nice. nice. Yeah. What's in that side? And then, OK. Oh. And another fridge. And freezer. Yeah. Well, I look, it would be handy, but this is a small space. Which brings us to the missus. One integrated fridge was a good choice, but finding the other integrated fridge did puzzle the judges. They then went looking through the rest of the storage in the room and felt storage was definitely a miss. They're a bit light on for... Um, actual storage. For actual storage. I mean, where do you put your, your vases, your platters? Where do you put your glasses? Where do you put your bowls? Where do you put all the plastic? Appliances? Appli oh, yeah, appliances. I mean, that's going to have to go on here, right? Where's the Thermomix going to go? <laughs> hey, that's a really, the, that's a really the, good question. Where's there's, the power? There's no power here at all. Um, that's weird. Microwave's down there. There's no power on this end. Is there power down there? No. OK, you know what? That would mean there's no power points anywhere where you can get to bench space. Like... That's... A problem. That, no, that's a, a big, big functional problem. problem. We're not massive fans of seeing PowerPoints, but obviously that's where we failed this week and we probably should have had one above the bench. And they love cooking. They love cooking. They don't eat out much. It's a huge problem for me. It, it was something that was overlooked. We originally had some power coming up inside the, the pantry and then out the side of the pantry, but we just forgot to tell the Sparkies to hook it up. And joke's on him now. Did Josh shrink? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, OK. OK. So you got one, you got it here. So I guess what they're oh, banking on... here we go, on there's one here. ...is that you're going to put your appliances in the drawers. There's a power point in the back of the drawer, so you just have to have your drawer slightly open. I think that that's an afterthought. They've just gone, oh, my gosh. There's did we power forget points. the power points? The judges did both say it's a kitchen that feels very 2015 and not mid-century American. It's really current, really on trend and therefore not so much on the brief that you were given. The brief wasn't, we want a trendy 2015 house. I've got a bigger problem with the functionality brief of this. I mean, no power points at bench level, no place to put your glasses or plates that aren't on display. I think this is a beautiful kitchen. I just think it's a mismatch for this homeowner. So the judges are saying that it is a miss. A beautiful looking room, but you definitely lost some points today for functionality. That's it. Coming up. Let me just check if it's space? the right height. Will Ben's Besser Block bench seat send him home? It says here. Yeah. Welcome back to Renault Rumble. Time to judge the rest of the Redbacks. Next up, living and dining room, which is done by Ben and Gemma. Hits. I find the further we get along in this competition, the more we're learning and, you know, you, we're coming up with better ideas, you know, everything's just getting better. This is really outstanding, considering that they had the pillar to pull out. And this was just Swiss cheese. I actually thought that this would be one of the houses that you would just put an engineered floor on top. It's really beautiful that they are the original floors, and I think the homeowners will be so happy that they've gone to that level of care. The Besser Block Bricks. <laughs> 
I heard that you two were the best of couple in the group. I heard Good that you had the best of week of all time. Oh, mate. Talk about it. And this is one you have been really sweating on, isn't it? Wow. Well... To say the least. It says here... Brilliant. I really love everything that's happening here. I love that the, the shelves and the materials of the shelves that are contrasted against the stucco. And I do love the concrete block work. Yeah, I was pretty stoked the judges liked it. It's kind of a uh, up your bum to Josh. You know, I think you needed it. Josh has been giving him a fair bit of crap about those passive blocks <laughs> all week. And then the judges like him. <laughs> there you go, mate. Don't high five me. Not here for a high five. No, up your bum. The natural colour of those concrete block bricks is, is really beautiful. It's very organic and I love the idea of the, the bonquette. I think it's actually, I think it's good. Let me a just good check use if of it's space. the right height. I'd be comfortable eating here. Yeah. Misses. The sofa and dining table are more mid-century Danish than mid-century American. The judges were also concerned about space in the lounge room. And I know you like the fireplace. I actually really have a problem with it. It's a gas fireplace. They could have flued it straight out the wall. Look how much space that flue is taking up. I can see what the judges are saying in regards to the fireplace, about it being a small area and, you know, by bringing the fireplace out a bit, you know, has encroached on the space. The TV in the corner there, I, I hope it's on. An arm. You'd want it to be because there's so much glare hitting that screen right now. It's got, it's got to be able to swing in. Yeah, test it out. So I mean, this is the right, the right solution. It's a bit tight though. It needs to be loosened up a bit. I really love the feeling of this house. Aesthetically, this is a beautiful, beautiful house. But it's not functioning very well. On the way to the bathroom, the judges went looking for the laundry and were hugely impressed. Up next is the laundry, which the whole team helped to create. What's the problem? How does this open? What? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Haven't you seen that before? How cool is that? How did it open? Just this little sensor pad here. They've created a man-proof laundry, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's unreal, isn't it? It becomes a seamless wall when it's shut, and when it's open, you know, it's quite, you know, a very functional space inside. Yep, yeah, I, I haven't actually been this excited about a laundry ever, but I think it's all about the door. But you're just a sucker for the Bond features, Wait, aren't you? do it again. <gasps> Ooh! Yeah, I'm a sucker for anything James Bond <laughs> opening and shutting, and that is super cool. Kyle and Cara, you did the bathroom? Hits. I think all the things in the bathroom sort of work together as a really grand first impression when you walk in. Kooky Tiles was one of their first comments. A risky idea, and while it was doing the judges' heads in, they also decided it was a great move. This is really messing with my head because, you know, it's, it's a great pattern. It's a really nice effect. Is it right for the brief? I didn't have a say in what tiles we picked, so that's all on car. Oh, um, here we go. Yeah, I think it's OK for me. I think that they've used just one other tile treatment in here. Is, is really nice too. And they're cheap. I love that they're cheap because you spend money on something like this that functions well, that adds beautiful aesthetic. I like the tapware here. It's nice and simple. I really like that design. I think it's just, just enough. The timber detailing here with the handrail is just really nice. And the storage at face level is a big hit for me. I mean, it's great that they've retained the double sinks and they've kept as much storage in here as possible. That is a big tick, a big hit in terms of function. This is the only bathroom in the house. So I think functionally, actually, this space is really good. Misses. Judges think the tiles 
would have worked better just on the floor rather than turned up on the side of the bar. I think that it would have been sufficient just to have them on the floor and use the mosaics for that area. Otherwise, I'm not seeing too many more. Yeah, there's no doubt the family, the homeowners are going to come in and, and be blown away by the transformation. And it is a transformation, isn't it? It's a beautiful home and there is a beautiful aesthetic that's been applied to this home. Is it entirely on brief? I was expecting something much more mid-century. Welcome back to Renault Rumble. Next up, it's the Blue Tongue's turn to face the judges. And this week, these guys had it tough. They made the risky decision to make structural changes to the back of the house and build a brand new bathroom to meet homeowners Alice and Simon's brief. A huge challenge in itself, but then they discovered termite damage. We've got termites. We're ripping the whole floor up. Yay. OK, let's hear what the judges thought of your hallway. That was a team effort from you guys. Ooh! Well, I'm getting that touch of Art Deco now. Three touches. <laughs> yeah. It was very The house, dark. for a start, was really dark. It had these beautiful three-metre ceilings and you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. Like, the walls <laughs> were... Wasn't that, not that dark. <laughs> no, but it was really, really dark. Beautiful light hallway. And it feels really wide and generous. However, the glass table, they thought, was a little bit 90s. But it would have been nice to see, you know, a repeated artwork running down here like a gallery space that was this sort of really nice deco-inspired graphic. That sort of thing would have been really cool. Mm. What they really loved about the hallway, though, was the extra door and couldn't wait to see what was behind it. Aiden and Jess, you did the bathroom? Yep. yep. Hits. Because there wasn't a bathroom, really. There wasn't a space for a, as, no, as a bathroom. It was... We had to make a bathroom, you know? Mm. Like, there was there was this section in the centre of... randomly in the centre of the house that had a toilet and a shower. Was there a shower there? It was a shower bath. It was just ridiculous. So this is the bathroom. This never used to be the bathroom. This was part of the lounge room. Wow, I can't believe they created a whole new room in a week. So it's a long, narrow, thin space that kicks in on both sides, and it makes sense. Perfect for the toilet and the shower. It's, it's fantastic. I love the storage solutions here. We've got face-level storage, open shelving there, so you can do some decorative stuff. There's heaps of space back here. I do love the dual shower heads. I love the space in the shower. We've got a heated towel rail. We've got underfloor heating, which is excellent. There's nothing at, at face level to light from the front, but there's lots of lighting. And wow, there's a speaker in here. And I like that this vanity unit floats. I think that it's nice that it doesn't go all the way to the floor. It gets a bit narrow in this part of the bathroom, but we've still got a really nice, deep bench space. Misses. The mixture of tiles. The judges thought you mix too many feature tiles into a small space. I'm, I'm trying to work out why they went for this pattern and then mixed it with a beautiful Carrara penny round in the shower. Yeah, I'm not sure it works, to be honest. The tiling, I never get tiling right. I do not know how to tile bathrooms or choose tiles for bathrooms. Again, we've got a random detail where the shower screen runs like 120 mil higher than the line of the tiles. Exactly. Which is just a bit weird. They're always going to see the shower screen All for sure. The screen, yeah. yeah. It's Just... Bad communication between designer and builder. So overall, they said it's a very functional bathroom and well laid out, but some aesthetic issues. Okay, your other room was the lounge room. Hits. I would have liked to have put some more Art Deco pieces in there. Um, in where? But I think Carly held me back a bit. So I, ho I hope that's the right thing. Um, which room? 
in all of them. Walking out into the back of the house, the judges were blown away by the structural transformation. Whoa. Wow. That's a big change. They nailed the contemporary part of the brief for this part of the house. What do you think of the furniture choices in here? I really like this couch. I think it looks very comfortable and it's, I think, one of those things that will just get better with age. It's got that lovely leather on it. We do have a blanket box kind of storage here. And, oh, they're, they're trying to hide a detail from me. Oh, that's the AV equipment in there. And a Sonos as well. And I can see the speakers are peppered throughout the ceilings here. It would also power the one in the bathroom. I really like that, you know, there's not a big sort of a heavy entertainment unit here with the TV. The rug clearly was the inspiration for the colour choices you made with all of the furnishings and styling. And they're all great choices. Misses. For me, the TV's not right. It yeah. does feel a little bit high and lofty and lost on that wall with those niches. Yep, the TV too high again, Aiden Hogan. No, nah, disagree. I totally disagree with that. Because you can watch the TV from the dining table now. It just feels like that whole unit is just too high. He will never learn. Perfect. Next time we do the living room, we'll have the same argument about how high the TV is going to be. I just also don't know if I would feel comfortable... Well, I, I know that I wouldn't feel comfortable watching television on that window seat. No, you wouldn't be able to watch television on that window seat. I think that's probably there so that they can have conversations here. But even for that, I would have wanted it to be maybe 100 mil, 150 mil deeper so you can actually lie down in it. Agree. That's it. To Renault Rumble. Time to see how the Blue Tongues fared with their contemporary kitchen and dining room. Carly and Leighton. Hits. They are beautiful. They're beautiful, the ceramic. Oh, mm, yum. Matte on the outside, glossy on the inside. And look at the blues with all the cushions and the artwork, the cool and warm blues together. It's beautiful. The brief was that the homeowners wanted a kitchen to use for entertaining, and you haven't let them down. I really love this kitchen. I think it's feeling like an entertainer's kitchen, absolutely. It feels really functional. I really love the bench top. Yeah, it's that lovely concrete sort of finish, and it's nice that they've used this grey on the island, so a white base would have been a bit boof in, yeah. in your face, and I think it's, it just subdues it and knocks it back a bit. We've given the homeowner a completely brand new house, completely yeah. transformed, and just really good spaces. Alice and Simon will love this. They will love this kitchen, they'll love the orientation, they'll love that they'll be able to entertain in this space and have guests and, and really enjoy this space. This is a real big improvement and it connects better to the outdoors as well. And look how much storage there is. There's you know, ample overhead storage. There's lots of space. Your fridge is down in this space yeah, It's a here. little further away. It's a little bit of a walk, but I like that you don't see it in the kitchen area. That all the tall storage is, is contained into this little nook down here. This was a little laundry and it was sort of a weird lean-to kind of ramshackle space. Wow, they've rebuilt this as well. They've rebuilt that space. So they've put a new roof on, new walls, they've cloud the exterior. It's like, that's massive. Splashback was a hit, as is the stove top and other appliances. And the handles you put on the cupboards are a very cool choice too. Misses. They think a matte finish on the cabinets instead of gloss would have been more contemporary in the kitchen. The other question mark was over the size of the oven. We've got a 600 wide oven and what, like seven to 900 wide cooktop? I always like it when the cooktop and the oven underneath line up. Is there a laundry in here? Yeah, so the laundry is here. Washer dryer, so that's space saving, which I think is actually really clever. And finally, the judges took in your dining room. 
The artwork is the real hero in here. I love that artwork. It so fits this house and yeah. the brief. Funnily enough, it even works in with this little window over here. Yeah, it does, actually. I think the dining table is fantastic. I love that it's a bit narrower, but quite long and streamlined. It's good for conversation. The dining chairs are beautiful and they look really comfy. I can imagine people feeling comfortable sitting there for extended periods of time. You know, I, I love the way they've interpreted the brief. They've been really respectful about the deco part of the house. Oh, they've certainly made up for any shortfall they had earlier on in the week. The back half of this house is fantastic. That's it. Well done, Carly and Leighton. Well done. Thank you, Well Jess. done. We're sticking out with the no dependent, mate. <laughs> the moment of truth has arrived. The envelope. This is horrible. The winner of the fourth week of Renault Rumble is... The Blue Tuck. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I'm blown away. That is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. Absolutely blown away. Pretty unbelievable, really. <laughs> I just had a good feeling, because mm. how could you not have a win when you've done so much work? I mean, from the massive transformation of what that house was to where it is now. Yeah. It's huge. Okay, let's bring up the scoreboard. Blue tongues. You beat the Redbacks by just half a out. point. Oh, oh go on. Whoa. Now we're going to bring up the scoreboard with the midweek scores. Now for the individual scores, we'll start with the winning team. Each of you delivered four rooms, giving you a score out of 40. Aiden and Jess, you did the living room and the bathroom, and your combined score is 35 and a half out of 40. Carly and Leighton, you did the kitchen and dining room, and your combined score is... 37. Well done, Blue Tongues. You battled all week, oh, you and you came out on top. Yeah. Adding these scores to your midweek scores gives you a total of 103 out of 120. No way. That means, of course, the Redbacks... You guys are the losing team by half a point. Of course, the couple with the lowest score tonight will be heading home. Josh and Jenna, you've got immunity from the 48-hour challenge, so you are safe this week. Your score for your kitchen is... 16 and a half. Ben and Gemma, you were one and a half points behind Kyle and Cara at the halfway point. So yet again, it's going to be very close. Ben and Gemma, your score for your living and dining room is... 16 and a half points out of 20. The 16 and a half just seemed way too low. Mm. And when one point is the difference between the Redbacks winning or losing, it just doesn't seem fair. Colin Cara, you need a score above 15 to stay in this competition. Score the judges gave your bathroom out of 20 is... 20. Welcome back to Renault Rumble. It's the moment of truth. Which Redback will be going home? Colin Cara, you need a score above 15 to stay in this competition. The score the judges gave your bathroom out of 20 is... <laughs> 18, that means you are safe, and sorry to say, Ben, <laughs> Gemma, Sorry, Jay. You've got sorry, the lowest man. score. You'll be heading oh, home. Oh, oh, oh. We are very sorry to see you guys go. See you, bro. Oh, 
Sebastian. <laughs> we have officially been eliminated from the competition, but on a high because we were really happy with our space. Um, and it was a room that I can walk away saying that I loved. Awesome experience and wouldn't change it for the world. And yeah, we're so proud of how far we've got in this competition. See you guys. Bye guys. See you guys. See you. See you guys. Thank see you. Guys. We're really guys. sorry to see you go. Well done, guys. Woo! We thought we were going home. We did think we were going home. Dodged a bullet there. We're going home with 250 Besser blocks in the back of the ute. <laughs> Because we didn't use them all, so... <laughs> and you know what? We're going to have the best night's sleep ever. Well, there you go. Off we go. There we have it. Now we have our final four. Next week, two of you will be going home and the other two will be fighting it out for the championship. Maybe we get in the GF and score the winning try in the GF. I don't know. And then we convert it. We are going to try to win because we don't want our team to go home. We want to verse Kyle and Kara in the grand final. We don't want to, we don't want to be eliminated in the double. It's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 That's, yeah. Very That's what I want. Are we ready to rumble? <laughs> yeah! Beautiful. You're back in the final four. All right. Good luck, everybody. Have a good night's sleep. We'll do it all again tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to go and show some very lucky homeowners their brand new homes. Have fun. Good on you. Fun. Good night. See ya. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks, Thanks, mate. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Scotty. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It looks so much bigger as well. Can't believe we get to come back here and live here. Like, I never thought we'd live in a place like this. <laughs> it's just amazing. You should look down there. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. There's so much to take in. Go around, help me. <laughs> this is so good. I can't believe it's our house. <laughs> oh, look at those tiles. Oh, oh wow. That looks amazing. It's so big, too. It's beautiful. How on earth did they do it in a week? They actually did this in three days. OK, after you guys, down the hallway. Can't wait to see. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That looks so different. It's amazing. This bedroom could double up as a... Baby room, room maybe. Yes. <laughs> maybe a baby room or something. Like that. That'd be perfect for that, wouldn't it? It is perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's so good. Well, speaking of babies, let's go and have a look at the master bedroom, shall we? Come on. That was a terrible segue. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Beautiful bedroom, isn't it? Oh, I feel like I'm in a dream at the moment. It is so surreal. Your job now, mate, is to do the front yard and the backyard. <laughs> and I'm going to give you six days. I'll be back here. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Scotty. Thank see you. you later. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. We'll see you at the house for me. Yes, I'll wait for it. I look forward to it. See ya. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so cool. I can't believe it. Does it look different? <laughs> a little bit. Incredibly different. Light and spacey. Oh. Lots of room. This is amazing. That's beautiful. I'm glad you're impressed because this <laughs> is just the hallway. <laughs> This cannot be the That's same room. <laughs> I believe it's the same room. <laughs> that back wall is beautiful, isn't it? That is amazing. That is the most beautiful thing. That is incredible. This is unbelievable. It's so on brief, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's unbelievably on brief. It's very oh mid century modern American. That's exactly what I wanted.
Come in, boys. so beautiful. Oh, and it's so light. It's lighter than it was. It feels like I can see in here. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. Crazy. <laughs> that is very cool, oh, wow. Hannah. I know, this is amazing. We sort of settled on a bit of a, a 70s vintage this is perfect. without like, being lost in powers or anything yeah. like that. No. Oh, this is actually, this is exactly what I wanted now to really? see. Really? Yeah. That's this fantastic, is... mate. Possibly our bathroom. That's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the tiles are beautiful. These oh. are gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. No way. Oh. Oh, OK. This is so ridiculously beautiful. Really happy. Happy. Oh. Understatement. Complete understatement. Oh. The kitchen, the sort of living space for us, which is absolutely the heart of the home for us, it's very different, but it completely reflects the way that we live. It feels like a home. Yeah, it does. Like, oh, that's nice. It feels like a home. This week, we're at the business end of the competition. This might well be the last house we do. One team wins. One team loses. If we're even talking about it, you start clamping up. No, I just don't come yet. With both couples from the losing team going home. We all have to do well this week, otherwise we all go home. This is possibly the last week. But that's not all, because this week there is no immunity. So overwhelmed and stressed. It just looked like a lot of work. If you don't get 100% right, you could be going home. Oh, and one last thing. They're not just renovating a house, they're extending it. We're pretty much going to have to gut the whole house. Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> yeah! But for the Redbacks, extensions don't come easy. I can feel myself slowly unraveling. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to just magically move that wall for a little bit? Josh is a nightmare. Kyle and Kara's argument today, I, I got mad. I got so mad. And things aren't much better down the street. The blue tongues are always constantly under pressure. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, we have we pulled down a wall that we didn't shouldn't have pulled down today. This is the hardest week, I think. Yeah, this is the hardest week. I do not want to be here anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. This is too hard. Two houses, two teams, one week, game on. And all of this in a week, it is insane. Mind-blowing. 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 God, we have done a lot in one week. Whoa! This is a new house. Some of the highest scores yet on Renault Rumble. Only one team's going to go through, so... What are the blue tongs or the red backs? It's going to be tight. We are exhausted, but everything will be worth it if we get to the grand final.